Alrighty guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at how to duplicate options within FlexiPrint. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Now if we're into the program here. Like I mentioned in the intro, we're going to be looking at duplicating objects. Now, also just a quick note, this is a mini-series on basic transformations. So we're going to be running through all the basic ways of transforming shapes and so forth. Now, the beauty of duplication is um, it saves you a lot of time not having to recreate. So let me show you, for example, let's say I create a uh, circle here. Maybe I want to set the scale exactly to 20 by 20 centimeters then if I want to create another version of this then I can go to create uh, clips select it and then I have to go again 20 20 oopsie not two, 20 by that and there we go now we've got two circles but as you can see it takes a bit of a time now also keep in mind the more complex the design becomes the longer the recreation will take so if we've got cutouts text all of that then uh, what we can do is simply just duplicate it. So now to duplicate it, there's um, a few ways we can go about it. First of all, we can go on our main menu. Then um, we go to the edit file. Uh, under our main menu, go to edit. We go down until we find duplicate. Now if you go far right, you'll see there's no shortcut key for it. But uh, there is a way we can do it, but I'll show you that just now. So you can either click it there or another quick way is you just simply right click the object that's selected and then you navigate till you find duplicate. So uh, it's maybe quite a quick way to do it. Then you'll see it makes a duplicate and you can move that around and then the scale is exactly the same. Now a quicker way to do that is you can simply with your object selected keep controlling and you'll see our mouse pointer they changes to a little plus at the bottom. Uh, if you left click with your mouse and drag to wherever and then release while keeping control in it will make a duplicate for you of that shape so very handy left click drag create so that way you never have to go into any menu you can just simply and quickly create uh, those shapes now obviously uh yeah it is you could also copy and paste but that works slightly different where for me personally the duplicate works very quick like i said um, to create duplicates of things now this can obviously also be grouped so let's say you have the uh, let's maybe make it like an rgb uh, make some green and some blue so then we've got like a basic rgb setup you can right click combine group and now this is a single group so now if I had to click that, keep control, move it, you can see we can quickly make another duplicate. So it's a very handy tool and uh, obviously play with it, but I mean, it's pretty straightforward. So just a quick recap. So we can either select the shape, right click a duplicate or on our main menu, edit, then we go duplicate. Or we can select our shape, use control, drag and drop, and then it will make another duplicate for us. So yeah, otherwise, in the meanwhile, though, if we head here to softwaretraining.co.za, you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover, and you can also isolate your search on the top right. If you do not, however, find the training videos you're looking for, just simply go here, request a training video, fill in the mini form, and then we'll do our best to try and make that for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching, and cheers.